take off on runway 36, taxi via Charlie. I'm sorry, Tower, could you repeat that? You are clear for takeoff on runway 36, taxi via Charlie. Hey, do you know who Charlie is? The airport is filled with all kinds of markings. Lights, lines, letters, and numbers. It can all get kind of confusing. Which brings us to today's question. How do you read airport markings and signage? Part 1. Runways Just like how streets have names, runways are given numerical labels based on their cardinal directions. Runways are marked with a number on each end, representing the magnetic direction they face. For example, a runway pointing exactly north and south would be labeled 36 on one end and 18 on the other. The degrees, if not exactly facing a certain direction, are rounded off to the nearest 10 degrees, where the last digit, zero, is dropped, as well as any leading zeros. Verbally, this runway would be referred to as runway 18 or runway 36. At some airports, multiple parallel runways are facing the same direction, and are then denoted with one of three letters, L for left, R for right, and C for center. Spanning the length of the runway is a single dashed line, known as the center line, used to help pilots align their aircraft during takeoff and landing. Non-precision instrument runways include threshold markings, denoted by several parallel white lines at the beginning of the runway, to mark where the runway is suitable for landing. 1,020 feet from the threshold markings are the aiming points. These consist of two large white dashes on either side of the center line. For precision instrument runways, touchdown zone markings are included to help guide pilots on their landing approach. Depending on the length of the runway, they can come in sets of single, double, or triple white lines. The long white lines that border the runway are aptly named runway edge markings, for obvious reasons. While not usually as extreme as this close encounter, the usable portion of a runway can be affected by obstacles, such as tall buildings or terrain and are marked with a displaced threshold, which can be identified by the borderline next to the threshold markings, with arrows pointing down the runway. Part 2. Taxiways Okay, so now we know how to use a runway, but how do we get to one? To help distinguish taxiways from runways, taxiways are marked with yellow lines and are named using letters instead of numbers. Taxiways will feature a solid yellow center line and a set of double yellow lines to mark the outward edges of the path. Where the taxiway meets the runway, you'll find the runway holding position markings. These are marked with two solid and two dashed yellow lines. Think of the holding position as a traffic light, where you wait for clearance to enter. If you're coming off the runway, the side with the dashed lines, you can roll right through onto the taxiway. Some taxiways include instrument landing system critical areas. These zones are marked with yellow ladder-esque lines. The ILS critical areas are essentially no parking zones, to prevent aircraft from blocking ground-to-air signals being used by landing aircraft. When entering or exiting the runway, you can follow the yellow lead-in and lead-off lines that extend from the runway and onto the taxiway. In order to get onto the taxiway in the first place, you'll have to receive permission from ATC to exit the ramp. Part 3. Airport Signage All airport signs fall under six categories. Mandatory Instruction, Location, Direction, Runway Distance Remaining, Information, and Destination Signs. Mandatory Instruction Signs are red with white text and can be found where runway and ILS area holding positions are marked. When marking a runway, the sign will often have two numbers representing the names of the runway. The number on the left denotes the beginning of that runway and vice versa. If there is only one number, then you're at the beginning of that runway. Location signs, seen as yellow text on a black background, will denote the taxiway you're currently on. Direction signs, which have the opposite color scheme of location signs, Feature black text accompanied by an arrow pointing which way the runway or taxiway is located. Destination signs are much like highway exit signs, where the location is spelled out or abbreviated accompanied by a directional arrow. Information signs, using the same color scheme as the previous two categories, 
provides procedural or specialized information along taxi routes or aircraft parking areas. Runway distance remaining signs, seen as white text on a black background, can often be found on both sides of the runway, noting how many feet of runway remains measured in thousands. Now, it's important to note that no two airports are exactly the same. Some may have all the bells and whistles of a major commercial airport, while others might be a dirt strip in the countryside. Do you have a question for flying? Tweet us at Flying Magazine on Twitter using the hashtag FlyingExplained or email us at explained at flying.media.